All right, guys, so we are currently in Nico and we're gonna be checking out tomorrow morning. This is the only hotel we have booked for our two months in Japan. Yeah, it's the rest crazy. Of the time, it's been apartments. It's been apartments. And, it apartments. and we have a Ryokan coming up, we which is do. definitely not a hotel. Uh -huh. And so, sit. We wanted to take this opportunity to give you guys a tour of a Japanese hotel so you yes. can see what they're like. I think there's a few quirks, a few differences that you don't yes. necessarily find in North American hotels. Definitely. And you notice those right at the beginning. Yeah. So let's just get started. Let's walk into this hotel. By the way, we're staying at Nico Station 2, yep. which is right across from the train station basically. So before we even get in, look what we have. In, in true Japanese style, a vending, a vending machine. machine, of course. So let's let's. So we got green tea up here. Matcha. Water. Oh, of course, our Lots coffees. Of coffee drink. Our coffees. More water. Oh, pokori, pokori sweat. sweat. That's like the Gatorade of Japan, basically. Yes. These are really strong green teas. Mm -hmm. We've got those before. Ooh, peach drink. I tried something similar. A couple. No, I tried that actually today <laughs> well, this for the is first turning time. Turning into a tour of a vending machine. Yeah. <laughs> awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. But anyways, if you get thirsty in the middle of the night. Just yeah. run outside and voila! Lots of options. Indeed. Also, something we thought was really weird. There's like a coin locker outside yeah. the hotel. I guess this is if you're like checking out. I guess checkout is in the morning, right? Right. And if you're not leaving right away, maybe you're sticking around town, sightseeing. You can Actually, lock your bags. I think that's kind of a brilliant idea. It really it's is. It's great for the hotel because they don't have to be running in and out grabbing people's bags mm -hmm. all the time. It's like you're responsible for your bag. Here's your locker. Put your stuff lock in here. Up. Lock it up. And when you're done, come and get it. All good. What a great and idea. Apparently it costs 100 yen. Jeez, that's, that's yen? not, that's, a, that's well, less than a dollar. No, 500 yen. 500 for these big guys. Okay. I'm not sure if they give guests uh, complimentary or what. Or if, if it's 500 I for know. just any random person who wants to use a locker. But anyways, lockers, they exist, they are here. Yes. So let's start making our way in. They're checking people in right now. So. Yes. Oh, there's a smoking space. Oh, yeah. This is before we even get in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at this. You're going to smoke. You can't contaminate the air around no. the hotel. You've got to do it in this little room. Yeah. You've got these little things for it's, you. It's funny, as progressive as Japan is in so many ways, uh, you can smoke in a lot more places in Japan than you can in Europe and in yeah. North America. Yeah. Like restaurants like, and pubs. Yeah, the and other day we were eating and a woman just started smoking next to us and I was yeah. like, what? Well, yeah, on. there's the smoking and non-smoking sections. You're burning my food. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's continue. Oh, you got to show the umbrellas. Sliding doors. Sliding doors. Look, before you even get in, umbrellas. The umbrella holder. Yes. So that you're not dripping water all over the place when it rains. You can stick your umbrella in a plastic bag. Oh, and drinks. This is the best. Sam's favorite machine. Yes. Ever. So look, you've got your cups, and then over here you've got your different you green, green tea, tea, roasted green tea, tea, coffee, water, and look, free Gotta drinks. love that. And you can get it cold or hot. Yeah, exactly. I want cold. What do you want? I want roasted green tea. Roasted green tea. Ice cold. Perfect for summer. Look at that guy. It's being made. Okay. Oh, look at it coming. It is perfect for summer. When it's over 30 degrees every single day. Awesome. Cheers to you. You know what? I'm so nice. I'm going to let you try it. Try it. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Is it good? That's nice. Let me try it. I've Here. only had the green tea so far. That's, that's a nice surprise. Ooh. I think I like that softer. more than... I think like I, I think I like that cold more than I do green tea. Mm. Cold. That's Let's actually good. This so we can continue with the yeah. tour. Yeah, guzzle, guzzle. Guys, this is so cool. This is a homemade. Oh. Take one. Yesterday they had like little shirts, little yeah. kimonos. And, and look, what are these? Little baskets. Oh, open it up. For jewelry. That's so cool. Those are cute. And look, ornaments. Ornaments. Oh. So which one should we take? Oh, I feel bad taking one. No, it's handmade. It's, these are little presents for us that are staying here. For guests, wow. We'll decide later. This could be nice for a Christmas tree. Okay, grab it. That's it, that's the one. That's the one. If you forget stuff, it says yeah. feel free to take, and they've got hairbrushes, razors, shower caps, so cool. 
Even hair ties for girls. Oh, wow. Hair ties for girls. Q-tips. How thoughtful. You can go on down before we even get to the room. More vending Of course. Beer. This is the best. Japanese this is the beer. best one. I actually bought uh, this one this yesterday. One? The 400 tall, which is less than four US dollars. Yeah. It was good. Ice cold. Yeah, this is the beer section. Juice section. Yeah. You get your sodas, your Mountain Dew, your Pepsi, your green teas, your fruit juices. You will definitely not go thirsty in a Japanese hotel. No. And there's more. There's more food. There's food more. Stuff. There's more. I'm going to show you that sign. In this room, you've got a microwave. Yeah. You can get ice. Yeah. You can do laundry. And you have a vending machine. I know. Again, free of charge. Well, except for the laundry. So it sounds like someone's doing laundry. It's 200 yen. That's cheaper than the laundry mat, no? Yes. It wow. Is. Really is. In Tokyo, Tokyo's laundry mat. And then this over here, yeah, someone's doing the laundry, but won't show their clothes. That'd and be a bit creepy. There's another vending machine with noodles. Oh my gosh, a noodle machine. A I didn't even machine. notice this one when I was in here. Yeah. It's ridiculous. They have a cup of noodles, curry noodles, seafood wow. noodles. 200 yen. 200 yen, so not bad. Less than two US bucks. Also, a microwave in case you buy food at the supermarket and you yeah, want to heat it up. Because there's there's that market. What's the name of that market again? Uh, Lyon Dor. Yes. It's like a two minute walk away, so you could grab something and come and microwave it. Yeah. And they even have little bowls for you if Whoa. you want to, I don't know, put your meal in. Oh, a they're, bowl. They're, they're, they're styrofoam. Okay. So they're one time yeah. use only. Yeah. Wow. So and where, where, where would yeah. the ice machine be? Is that here? Oh, that's probably for ice. Oh, there it is. Look at that. <laughs> so you put the ice in these bowls. Okay. All right, come on. So we're going to take you up to our room now. So we are on the fourth floor. Yes. Let's go up. up this has go. been a really cool hotel. This is our third night here. I've loved it. The staff have been super friendly. Like everyone is so courteous. And even yes. even the cooking, like the breakfast staff in the room, like, yes. when you hand your plates back, they bow. <laughs> There is like serious, uh, so polite. So polite. My goodness. So polite. Okay, so two interesting things right away. Yes. First off, as soon as you get out of the elevator, Look. there's a deodorizing spray. <laughs> spray it. Like in case you made the elevator stink. Could be. Spray it. What does it I'm smell? I'm gonna smell like? it. Oh, it smells like nasty hairspray perfume. Oh, I'm choking on it. Ooh. It's like. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> that was and weird. there's also a pant press machine that you can take to your room and like borrow it if pants. you need to like press your pants. You know what? We have pretty wrinkly clothes. We could probably use it. <laughs> but it's like I feel like people come to Nico on holiday to relax, unwind. So yeah. why would anyone need to press their pants unless they have a business meeting? It could be. It could be some businessmen coming here to close yeah. deals I out of the countryside. <laughs> too much work involved. That's way too much work for me too. But yeah, we're at the end of the hall. Room 425. Mm -hmm. Got a cute little doorbell in case people want to visit us. Let's press it. Oh, it's, I can hear it. I can hear it. It, it sounds very, very gentle. When you go in, I'm going to press light. it. Watch. I'm going to press it so everyone can hear. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. okay we got yeah, it, we got, we got it. it, we're here. We're good. So, Let's get some light in here. stick the card in. Let's Whoa, some lights. super bright, super bright. Come on in and let's begin the actual room tour. Yes. Also, first things first, this is a Japanese hotel. Shoes right. need to Shoes come off. Shoes off, including mine. I'm they taking mine off too. They did leave us some fancy little slippers. Well, we're going to put them on. So me as well. Only one pair, right? So. Well, there was a second pair. We just seem to have misplaced it. Um, so as soon as you walk in, you've got this tiny closet yeah. that's like maybe a foot wide. I'm going to show that because this is one of the most space efficient apartments <laughs> you'll ever see. Like look at hotel that. Rooms. Hotel rooms. Hotel rooms. Sorry. Hotel rooms. So yeah, we have four And you go hangers. down here and that's where we're keeping our, our basically our shoes. Yes. Our sandals. So yeah, you can wear slippers or you can go barefoot. Um, as soon as you walk in, we've got this thermostat, I guess you would call it, to adjust yeah. the temperature in that's the room. The, that's for the air con. Lots of buttons. I try not to touch things too much because yes. it can get scary very quickly. Speaking of lots of buttons, we have a toilet that's a bit a of a... A toilet with lots of buttons. Okay. Yeah. So, We're no slippers in the bathroom. You know what? I'm going to go in here and read, okay. read this for you guys, okay? So, I'm sitting down on the toilet right now, and these, this is my menu. So, I've got... 
you look over here, it tells you exactly what it means. So while I press this, this is a shower for your bum. Your bum. This is a shower in a different direction for ladies. A bidet. A bidet. This is where you adjust the strength. Do you want more? Do you want less? And the nozzle clean. Are you? Do you, do you feel the last person in here was maybe a little dirty or something? <laughs> I don't know. Clean the nozzle yes. before you and use it. Here's the funniest thing: the seat temperature. High and, and low. Do you want it high or low in the winter? High would be recommended, obviously. Yeah. Wow. So it's, full it's instructions a small in English. Bathroom, I will say. Talk but about small. It works. This little toilet. Toilet. Is, yep. We've got a hair dryer. They left us two toothbrushes with toothpaste with little cups here. Yep. We've got hand soap. We do. Oh, it's foam. It's foamy hand soap. Yeah. Yeah. And then over here they left us some body soap and some rinse. In, it's called rinse in shampoo, which is basically just shampoo. Yeah. Oh, also another cool thing. So for the shower yeah. the way you adjust the water it's like the same knobs as here on the sink right so basically this switch the you switch. decide if you want the water to run into the sink so or you know the what shower. after you take your shower you have to switch it over or else yes. you're gonna spray, spray yourself accidentally yeah we've done, we've done this before not at, not in this hotel but in other places oh another funny thing yeah i guess i'll get into the shower to show you okay i feel like the angle isn't quite right. It's like, okay, this is quite high. I can wash my hair. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. But if I put it here, okay, my hair is not getting wet, but I feel like I'm not really washing You're not washing my whole much. body. I kind of have you, to like. You need to be a lot shorter. Oh, do one of those. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's a Japanese bathroom. Oh, it's nice and tight. It is. And I'll open up the toilet so you can see. Like these toilets are just shaped a little bit differently than North American and, and European ones. They're quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so moving out of the bathroom. That is the bathroom. The bathroom. To lay down. That is the bathroom. Close the door and come see the bedroom. So we have a bed kind of like flush against the wall. Yeah. Very space efficient. I will say, this is a lovely duvet. Yeah. It's so, like, fluffy. It is. I've had some really great sleeps We've had here. some great sleeps Even here. the pillows are fluffy. Like, this is the kind of bed I like. Yeah. I also feel like they've got a bit of a Scandinavian-inspired feel going on with, like, the exposed wood, especially downstairs. Yep. Like, even the furniture. It makes me think of Ikea. Hey, we just saw a Finland truck right outside this window. Yeah. It was parked literally right there. Oh, no, it's still there. It oh, says... Finland, happy 100th anniversary. I'm zooming in. I have no idea why. Why? Or who. Or who? Or what? Yes. <laughs> but yes, happy birthday Finland from Japan. Continuing the tour, we've got like this miniature shelf, which kind of acts as a nightstand. Yeah. Got my makeup on here. We also have a little night light. Night light. Turn yep. it on. Oh, that's it bright. Works. Ooh, lights on, lights off. That yep. works. Then we have a desk. A minimalist desk. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a mess at the moment. We've got our computers here. Yeah, we're, 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 drives, we're in the stages phone, of packing blah. up. Here's our main camera. Yeah. We've also got a little mirror so I can do my thing in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, a little kettle, another lamp. We also have, ooh, bathrobes, which yeah. we haven't used. Oh my gosh, we haven't or, used yeah, those. Two lovely bathrobes. And look at the, the smallest the little small kitchen, little fridge. kitchenette, I think you What's call it. What's in here? A lonely cucumber. That's mine. Sam's had two of the three cucumbers already. Yeah. Some sesame oil. Lots of drinks. Look. And Flintstone vitamins. <laughs> Flintstone vitamins. <laughs> These are ours, guys. Yeah. But look at this. This is like the smallest little freezer section. Ever. Yeah, you can put your ice cream there. That's where I've been putting my ice cream bars. <laughs> Yeah, what else is Oh, the tea, there's a, a television. Yeah. We have a television flat screen that we never TV. use. I don't even know where the control for it is because we and haven't used you it. You know what's crazy, guys, is like I I still don't think we can really properly convey the sense of scale just how small this room is. Like how much they've packed in to this small little room. Like I think the only other smaller hotels that we've stayed in and maybe Hong have been Kong. in Hong Kong and Hong Kong. trying to think where else. No, maybe this is the second smallest. Yeah. It's, it's it, in recent we years. We do have AC, which yep. is wonderful. It's mandatory summer. in the summer. Absolutely. And I feel like 
we've shown you everything in the room at this point. So that kind of concludes like the room portion of the hotel tour. We'll remember to bring our cameras downstairs tomorrow morning. We're going to have breakfast and yep. show you that breakfast area, the foods they serve. Yeah, breakfast, breakfast is pretty impressive for, yeah, for this hotel. It's a mix of Japanese and Western food. Yes. So it's good. It's good. And we'll, it's sh good. we'll show you what they've got in the morning. See you tomorrow. We hope you enjoyed the tour so far. Yep. Good morning, guys. Picking okay, things up again. Time. Yes. Time. We're hungry. We're having it a little bit later. We've normally been going down right at 7 and it's 7.30. Oh my gosh. The first ones in line. Yeah. Today we slept in. We slept in. We've been doing a lot of sightseeing to be fair yeah. in the heat. So we needed it's the rest. Tiring. We needed so the rest. Here. Hello. Look at this first things first, we grab a tree. Yeah, grab a tree. Grab one of these little boots. Yep. They have bowls as well. Yeah. Maybe I should grab a bowl for the rice. Yeah. Maybe a good idea. And you have option of juice. Juice. I usually find the juice very sweet, so I do like half juice, half water. Yeah, that's a good idea. Less sugar, huh? Yes. Less sugar. Grab some clut clutlery. Clutlery. Cutlery. So early. Oh, I forgot my peanut chopsticks. butter. Chopsticks. That is so sad. My peanut butter. Oh butters. my gosh, I can't believe you forgot it. I travel with peanut yeah, let's show, butter. Let's, sh let's show it to these. Lift them up. How does this work? Oh, that's a rice. That's pretty cool. And then over here, you have your curry. And then over here, you have sausages, scrambled eggs, tomatoes, eggs, and ham. And this is the continental section. We have bread, and cereal, and milk. We got it. Breakfast has been served. Tour of my breakfast tray. So, I got some rice yeah. with curry. Curry sauce. A little bit of pickled stuff over here. Um, a sausage, scrambled eggs. They have mini cherry tomatoes. They also have slices of baguette bread. And I usually bring the peanut butter and the honey. Why well, don't you just go up and get it? No, it's too much effort. I've already oh my gosh. Uh, butter and orange. So it's, it, it, it's, it's sad without peanut That'll butter. Do. And juice. Cheers. Cheers. Breakfast. Well, well, breakfast is gone. I yep. ate that pretty quick. You sure did. And I would say and that pretty much concludes our Japanese hotel tour. I feel like you've seen everything there is to see. We've shown you everything you yeah, can. Yeah, behind the scenes. Maybe you found a few quirky elements and I feel like other things were probably pretty normal. Yeah. So yeah, now you know what to expect from your first Japanese hotel when you come and travel here. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time with more Japan videos on the channel. Ta-ta guys. Bye.